I'm Richard Riley, the Energy Programs Manager of the Missouri Botanical Garden Earthway Center. The Sunflower Plus project here in Old North is a winning design entry in a d competition for sustainable use of vacant urban land. What we're doing is uh, planting sunflowers, a cultivar of a Missouri native, Helianthus annuus, in the rows in the background are Missouri native sunflowers provided as seedlings from our partners at Shaw Nature Reserve. Uh, we do this to have a low impact beautification project, which is also a pollinator project, a biodiversity project, and a neighborhood gathering place. To provide some points of interest in the neighborhood, we have commissioned a local artist from the neighborhood for our scarecrow. We've worked with uh, students from um, Ames Elementary and Mason Elementary in the St. Louis Public School District to provide some of the art that you'll see around. And uh, we've also worked with the Missouri Botanical Garden Outdoor Youth Corps um, to help with the labor in getting the site ready and keeping it maintained. So we're here in, in Old North, um, one of the older neighborhoods in, in, um, in the city. And this was a very densely populated neighborhood um, which has seen um, very many changes go on in the last hundred years or so. And there's now a, a little bit of a renaissance in the neighborhood with um, Habitat for Humanity having built 27 homes here other development occurring and its anchor institution Crown Candy, some of the best milkshakes in town. I really like the spiral because the um, spiral is also what you see on the face of a fresh sunflower bloom and so um, it's a sort of a force of nature and architecture and design. And it's easy, they're drought tolerant, um, they're related to Missouri natives, very little care. They get watered a couple of times a year max and um, everybody loves sunflowers.